More than 850 exhibitors are showing off the latest equipment at this year's National Farm Machinery Show. Marlon Bowling is on location with Ag Guru Machinery to hear about the benefits of strip till. Well, after all the drought that we had over the past year or multiple years in some areas, a lot of folks are considering maybe the benefits of strip tillage. Maybe with something like this. I'm here to talk to the president and founder of Ag Guru Machinery, Bill Preller, about just that. So strip till has been around since the 80s, right? It's a 40-year-old brand new idea. So what's brand new about it? A lot of things are coming together now. It is a better agronomic practice. That's step one. We're not mixing residue into the soil, but we are getting a warmer, drier seedbed, more uniform seedbed than no-till. The second piece is economics and labor as part of that. We all know that there are fewer and fewer operators, trained operators, farms are getting bigger, the window didn't get any longer, so you got to do more in the same amount of time. Strip till is actually a more efficient way to use labor. Fewer passes, all done in one pass at an optimum time of year. Labor is one component, then we get to economics. We know fertilizer prices are sky high. They're not going down. So again, more with less, more efficiency. And when you put all the nutrients right in the root zone, you definitely gain efficiency. Now that's the segue into the environmental component. And there's lots of incentives and motivations by lots of folks for the environmental advantages of strip till. In the past, some people have looked at it, well, if I can get paid to do it, that's the wrong answer. If it's a good agronomic practice that is good for the environment, that you make money doing, that's why strip till is growing. I know from experience, I used to do strip till when I was right. farming. Saves so much water. Yep. Saves so much in the way of chemicals because yes. you don't have to broadcast over the whole area. Right? Correct. Correct. Right. Absolutely. So when you design your equipment, and I have to say that some of the heaviest equipment I've seen, I can appreciate that. Thank you. But what drives your design? So dependable, productive, and agronomic. Those are the three things, which is we've got to make it dependable. This is world-class equipment, all right? This is not a small-time weld shop, short line, let, let's try it out. No, this has to compete with the best in the world. Productivity has been a, a problem for strip till at times because they could run their disc gripper when they couldn't run their strip till rig. That's a problem for the farmer. We've got to run in the widest possible operating range and we have to do the best agronomic job. So we do all three. That's what drives all of our product development and we've spent five years building a product line. That's the last part of this. Most strip till companies have a row unit, a toolbar. We have three different row units, seven different configurations, six different toolbar and toolbar chassis combinations. We literally want to serve people from the Delmarva to Colorado and Quebec to Texas, and we have iron in all those conditions. Well, and of course, last year with all the drought affected areas, everybody knows full well how important it is. Yep. So if our viewers and listeners want to find out more information, I'm sure you have a website where you can bet. find more info. AgroMachinery.com. Well, thank you to Bill Preller for telling us about the strip tillage equipment that they have at Ag Guru Machinery. I'm Marlon Bowling for RFD TV. And thank you, Marlon. Of course, for more information, go online to agurumachinery.com.